Welcome to Take Charters. In this video, I will show you the simplest process to install and configure the latest TensorFlow 2.17 GPU with WSL on Windows 11. We have only one prerequisite and that is we need to install the latest NVIDIA GPU driver on our host machine, in this case, my Windows 11 host machine. So it's pretty simple. If you go to the NVIDIA app website and download that and you can download the latest GPU driver from there. So this GPU driver will pass through with WSL. So we'll get the same GPU driver on WSL. We don't need to install the GPU driver on WSL. So please install the NVIDIA GPU driver on your host machine before follow these steps. So let's uh, start uh, terminal. So let's search here for terminal and here is the terminal I opened and here I need to install the WSL distro so in my case I want to install the latest Ubuntu 24.04 version you can install the Ubuntu default one which is Ubuntu 22.04 in that case you don't need to write this uh, Ubuntu 24.04, just Ubuntu and it will install everything. So let's install Ubuntu 24.04 here. And if I press enter, it will start installing. So I installed to Ubuntu 24.04 in my system multiple times. So it is actually downloaded already. So it will not take that much time. But if you install it for the first time, it will take a little bit time and you may need to restart your computer before uh, proceeding. So here it is asking for the usernames. Let's go to put the username and again password here. So we need to put the password and this is the root password. And you can see installation is successful and our uh, Ubuntu 24.04 WSL is ready. So if I click on the arrow button here and I can see the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS is here. Just I need to go there and it's done. So first thing first, before doing anything, we need to update our repositories. So let's uh, run the update command. The command is sudo apt update. And we need to put the password and it will update the repositories for our Ubuntu 24.04. And here you can see we have 153 packages can be upgraded and we can do that with uh, the command sudo apt upgrade. So let's do that. It is recommended to update and upgrade your system before doing anything. So let's install it. So our Ubuntu is upgraded. So let's just close it and start it again. This is maybe not necessary, but I like to restart it. Now let's check the Python version because we need Python, right? So let's check Python dash version. So it'll give us error, I think. Yes. So it is saying that Python is not installed because Fedora, sorry, uh, Ubuntu 24.04 the Python 3 is coming by default. So if I put Python 3 version, you can see the Python 3.12.3 is here. So the next thing, we need to check our GPU driver. I told you GPU is installed in uh, my host Windows 11. So it should be passed through here. So let's check NVIDIA SMI and it should give me the information. Yes, the NVIDIA SMI 560.35.03. So this is the version, driver version, and everything is working perfectly. That's fine. So now let's create, organize our system. If I, I can create uh, my projects here, but I want to organize them. So let's make a directory called projects. Let's go inside projects. And here, let's make another directory. I will put all the projects inside this projects directory. So for my TensorFlow 2.17 project, I will create another directory for TF217. Let's go inside TF217. Now, we need to create the environment. I will not install Miconda or Anaconda, anything. I will use the default Python environment. But the problem is when I will create a Python environment here, say I want to create the Python environment with Python 3.12 using the 3.12 version. And now let's put minus M and VENV. Using VENV, I will create the Python environment and the name will be TF217. I want to create this. But if I run this, it will show me error because the VEN, VENV is not coming uh, by default with Python 3.12 on Ubuntu. So here is the error. 
So we need to install it with this command. So let's copy this and put sudo and just run this command and put the password and it should install our VNV for us. The next thing, our VNV is installed. So let's run this uh, command to create the environment again and it should work perfectly now. You can see it's great. It's working perfectly. The next thing, it's already installed. We need to actually activate this environment. To activate this environment, if I press ls, you can see inside the tf217, we have another directory tf217. This is the environment directory. So we need to run the activate command from this directory and the command is source and then tf217. Inside that we need to go bin and inside that we have the activate option. So let's activate this and you can see the environment is activated. Perfect. Now, before uh, running this, we have Python installed and we will install TensorFlow with pip, right? So let's uh, upgrade pip first. So the command is pip install dash dash upgrade pip and it should update the version of the pip, the latest version. Now, to install the uh, TensorFlow, the latest TensorFlow right now, the latest TensorFlow is 2.17. So to install that, we need to install, we need to put the command pip install TensorFlow and we'll also add gp CUDA for that. So let's put this here and you can see and CUDA. So it will install CUDA. Remember, I don't need to install NVIDIA Toolkit, CUDNN, anything. And I will not use TensorRT. If you want to use TensorRT, you need to uh, install TensorRT, but I don't need to install, I don't want to use TensorRT in my case, so I will not install it. Just uh, run this command and it will install all the required packages, the CUDA toolkit package, the CUDNN package, everything for our TensorFlow. Let's run this. So you can see our TensorFlow is installed. So we need to check now, right? To check this, uh, I will run a simple co uh, command. So you can actually copy this. You can uh, copy this from the uh, TensorFlow installation documentation. But I will also put this on the uh, description. So this is the command. It will actually import TensorFlow and it will show us if uh, GPU is available or not. So it will give you a lot of warnings. But remember, these warnings will not affect the performance of your, your uh, TensorFlow. So don't worry about these warnings. These are common with uh, TensorFlow 2.17. And also I check the Docker version and everywhere I see this problem, even in Colab. So don't worry about them. Uh, these are just warning. These are not errors. We need to actually focus here and you can see the physical device GPU zero and device type GPU. So our GPU is working. That's a great thing, right? So our system is running perfectly, TensorFlow is installed and GPU is working. So let's uh, go a little bit further and use actually uh, VS Code. I will install and download VS Code here. Before doing that, I want to uh, install IPy kernel so that on VS Code I can actually separate the kernel for my uh, GPU. So the command is pip install IPy kernel. Let's run this command and it will install everything. And you can see our IPy kernel is installed. The next thing is we need to download the PS code. So let's go here. I'm installing VS code on my Windows system and it will get the uh, WSL connection. That's not a problem. So let's, I don't need to install it separately on my all the uh, WSL distro. I will just install it on my local computer host machine and it'll work perfectly with WSL. So here it starts downloading the VS code. So let's install it. That's fine. So let's close it. Now I want to run uh, VS code inside this directory. To do that, I need to actually close it because I run this before I install VS code. So let's open terminal again. And from this terminal, I will go to the distro by clicking here and Ubuntu 24.04 and I will go to projects and TF217 and inside here I will activate the environment with the command source and the directory of activate and if I run you can see our 
environment is activated. So let's run code and dot. It'll open inside my directory, tf217. So VS Code Server is downloading because I just installed VS Code and it's installed some necessary packages and VS Code is running. That's perfect. And you can see the WSL 24.04 is connected here. So that's a good thing. And here you can see the environment thing. So we will just put it, keep it just like this. Now, here I want to install a few of the extensions so that it can work perfectly. Sometimes you will get the uh, extension request here. Uh, it will ask you, suggest you to install that. If it's not coming here, don't worry. I will you install it manually. So go to the extension and here I need to install Python. Let's search it. And here is the Python. This is the official Python from Microsoft. So let's install it. It's installed. Let's uh, install uh, Jupyter Lab. So here you can see the Jupyter is here. So let's download this. It will install a few of the other requirements. So let's install it. And it's installed. So let's now we will install WSL. Search WSL and here is WSL. And it is by default installed because I am running this with WSL. But if it's not, then just search here and you will get the installation button here. So everything is done. So let's go to the directory. And here, let's create another view file. And that is test.ipynb. So this is the extension for JupyterLab, Jupyter Notebook. So it's generated. And here, if you see, this uh, it is actually suggesting me the kernel. So if you click select kernel, and if you go Python environment, and you can see the TF217 Python 3.1.2 is here. Uh, this is the directory where the Python is located. So let's click here because this is the uh, environment we created, right? So let's click here and it's selected. So I'm running a small uh, one, a small uh, program so that it will show you why we need GPU. It will show you the difference between the performance difference between GPU and CPU. So first we need to import few files. So let's run this. And you can see it's again showing all the warnings and but those are warnings. So I don't want to see them. So I will run this again and it will go. If you run this second time, everything will go. And now I'm going to write, uh, give a code that will run a program in using GPU and CPU and give you the time. Don't worry, you don't need to copy this because I will put this on the uh, description. So don't worry about it. And if I cannot post it in the description, I will put it in a uh, GitHub lab repository so you can easily download this. So this is our program. And finally, I will print this uh, time taken by CPU and GPU. And if it's uh, GPU is not found, then it will show no GPU is found. So let's run this. Now, here you can see the output. So the CPU time taken to train the on CPU is 160 seconds which is uh, almost three minutes, not three minutes, uh, it's uh, around 3.2 3, uh, minutes and uh, 40 seconds. And it trained with GPU in nine seconds, just nine or 10 seconds. So it's way faster, 16 times faster than CPU processing. That's why actually people try to use TensorFlow. So you can see it's Pretty simple to install TensorFlow GPU with uh, this simple process. You don't need to bother with CUDA toolkits, UDNN, or TensorRT. Just single commands and it and will install. So let's close it. And now I will show you another one. First, let's deactivate the uh, environment. And it's, it's deactivate. And it will deactivate the environment. So I want to show you another one. I want to use the previous TensorFlow version so that you can understand that uh, that 2.17 is actually compatible with this command, not the previous 2.16.1. To do that, let's uh, go out to this directory and create another directory. And this time it will be TF216. Let's go inside TF216. Now let's uh, create the environment here. So the same thing, just change the name. So here, Python 3.12 and minus M, V, E, N, V, and TF. 
the name of the environment tf216 let's uh, create this and now let's uh, activate this so let's command source tf and bin and activate and it should activate the tf216 and here actually the tensorflow is not installed so ch let's check it first it will give us the error but let's check it whether the tensorflow is installed here or not and you can see the tensorflow no module named tensorflow so we need to install the tensorflow here in this environment so this command will install the latest tensorflow which is right now 2.17.0 but i want to install the 2.16 version to do that i need to put double equal sign and then 2.16.1 is the last version so let's install it and it'll install everything but what i'm trying to show you if you install 2.16 version it'll not work with the gpu only the 2.17 version is working with this it's also installed everything installing everything you can see the cuda nvcc cudn and everything it's installing but it will not work with the dpu that's the thing i wanted to show you just uh, wait until it's done it's installed so let's run this command again and it will show you the things and you can see skipping registration gpu devices so the 2.16.1 version the previous version uh, is not working with GPU, but let's deactivate it again and go to the directory for uh, PF217. And here, let's uh, activate the environment for 217 again. And if I run this, you can see it's uh, the 217 is now activated. And if I run the command again, you can see it's actually working with GPU. So that's the difference between the previous version and the latest version. You can see. The physical device it's gpu number zero and type is gpu so in this video i showed you the simplest process where you didn't you don't need to uh, actually install all the messy things the uh, nvidia toolkit cudnn or and configure their them to the path and make a lot of mess with the system it's very simple and i don't even install uh, a third-party software to uh, run the Python. I use the built-in Python because the latest uh, TensorFlow is supporting 3.12 version of Python and uh, Ubuntu 24.04 is coming with by default Python 3.12. And even by, uh, if you use Ubuntu 3.11 or 3.10, it will also work. And uh, this is actually a great way to install and run its in a very few minutes and your system is up to date and ready to run tensorflow codes so that's really great because before you need to do a lot of things to prepare your system and it takes a lot of time now it's only few commands and you can have a working development environment so thank you for watching this video hopefully it will help you to build your own uh, tensorflow development environment pretty easily and if you like this video please like this video and subscribe this channel uh, it'll be great help because it's a new channel i need your support to build more videos like this and thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day